viewing to a YouTube channel near you. Well, Roger Blair, Susan F. Hello there. Val, paranormal pixie. You got the pixie dust. Denise, Henry, Crystal. Crystal, you sucking on those peanut butter cups? Oh, there, Lorna. Hey, Leonard. How's it down there in Miami? Moon at noon. And we got Brian Barber, Barber Shop. Welcome there. Kathy A. Well, Brandon, how so, are you doing today? Dude, and that intro music, man, I thought I was watching Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting I, on the trapeze artist. Uh, <laughs> my back wasn't too bad. I'd, I'd probably do a little swinging. <laughs> All right. Anyways, Hello, applause, Moon at noon. everybody. Hello, yes. Lorna. Welcome, everybody. So, uh, interesting. Uh, so, yeah, so we got a few things up our sleeves today. Uh, hopefully, everybody's starting their week out all right. And uh, what's the temperature where you're at, Brandon? Uh, I'm let you know, let me give you the accurate temperature at 95. Yeah, I was kind of warm where I'm at, We're outside Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, but interesting, uh, yes. but yes, uh, but yeah, so uh, we'll get started here. Then we'll uh, talk about something, and I know you'll be interested in hearing. I got a lot of messages off something I said last night on the show, uh, but why couldn't a bicycle stand up by itself? Because it was too tight. <laughs> ah, that is right. So he knew that one. Uh, I got one what, for you. What kind, right. of sh what kind of shoes do frogs wear? I don't know. Open toed. <laughs> That's kind of cute. I like that one. <laughs> Open toe. What are having that uh, commercial? Bud was. Er, what? Uh, Man, remember that? You, well, that was probably back when their marketing director was not. Anyway. They probably all sitting around the conference table all sloshed, right? And, yeah, right. and they walk yeah. in like, what up? Yeah. What up? I mean, it was perfect. It made perfect sense. It was great. And then we had the lizards. Right. So, I mean, that was a pretty good. I, I don't know. I like those commercials. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Uh, they don't have any good commercials anymore. So what happened uh, when the grape got stepped on? What did he do? I don't. I don't know what. He let out a little wine. Oh, oh! I didn't do the great vine. Anyways, all right, go ahead. Uh, <clears throat> did you hear about the red and blue ships that collided? Was it a rainbow? All the sailors were marooned. It's a yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's great. It's a tertiary joke for all uh, the, the artists sh out there. The shovel was a groundbreaking invention. I don't get it. As as well it should be. Groundbreaking? Cause yeah, because you can dig and break the ground. Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Uh, my neighbor my neighbor gave me a new roof for free. How's that? Uh, he said it was on the house. Ah. Hey. There we go. Uh, daughter, dad, did you pull the cat out? Dad, I didn't know it was on fire. Well, I hope not, because then it would let out a little wine. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, huh. I got one. Is it my turn? Yeah, your turn. <laughs> Did you hear about the teenager who failed his driving test? No, he got looped. He thought it, he thought it was a crash course. Uh, uh, this graveyard looks overcrowded. Uh, people are dying to get in. Oh. oh. Yeah. Hey, Rita. Hand Chris some coffee. <laughs> I'll take some. What do you call a wizard who's good with ceramics? Harry Pottery. Harry Pottery. 
like it. Five fourths of the people admit they're bad with fractions. Ooh. 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 <laughs> but none of them are Asian. Oh, you're going to get us banned. Well, they're good with math. I'm such a good thing. Uh-huh. Why did uh, Marie Curie stop dating that guy? Why? There was no chemistry. Uh-huh. Yeah. Two goldfish are in a tank. They yep. look at each other. They said, you know how to drive this thing? Hey! <laughs> there are two muffins sitting in the other one. This is this is one of mine. <laughs> two muffins sitting in the other. One muffin looks at the other one and says, man, it's hot in here. And the other muffin goes, holy crap, a talking muffin. Oh, my Lord. <clears throat> what do you call a man with a rubber toe? I don't know what. Roberto. <laughs> ah, ole. Let me try to find one more. Oh, I can't. I can't say that one. It may have been somebody. Yeah, that's. I'm. I'm, I'm having to dig through these two. Okay, uh, this is stupid, but I like it. How did Benjamin Franklin feel when he discovered electricity? Electrified. He was shocked. Yeah. <laughs> I would avoid the sushi if I was you. It's a little fishy. Hey. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> Paranormal Pixie says, down we go. Are you hearing the Titanic flutes or something, Paranormal Pixie? <laughs> yeah, you know, it is what it is. Welcome to the whatever show. <laughs> I love it. There's got to be one more good one in here. I got one more after you. I'm just going to go with number 30. What would happen if you threw all the books in the ocean? I don't know. It would cause a tidal wave. (laughs) That one's horrible. Well, it's a little twisted. The rotation of Earth makes my day. Boy, I get it. But yeah. Doesn't it, though? So uh, we were talking last night, and uh, they did a study about uh, lymph node cancer, and it's on an uh, in, uh, increase. Uh, it's it's very alarming, and they they did a study on it, and they couldn't figure out why uh, people were actually uh, were getting this, right. and they were looking at the commonalities of these people that have this type of cancer. That's so different than everybody else in in the world. And the common uh, trait was people with a lot of tattoos. Uh, yes, uh, full sleeves, a bunch on their body, and they're noticing that the color tattoos, reds, blues, and yellows, yeah. I got a bunch of those. And, uh, yeah, so they didn't ever had a study done because... There was not enough people over the years to go back and look at it. But now there is enough. And people are like, oh, smack. Uh, yeah. There's some issues now. Uh, not only because of the colors, but uh, because of the ink and using the wrong needles, going too deep, uh, uh, ruining the skin while tattooing. I'm just a fluster of reasonings, but just normally because the tattooing itself. So I was... I was like, wow, I mean, I got two on my shoulders, right? So one's yeah. pretty big, but however, uh, that kind of changed my mind about doing a full sleeve now. And I was like, yeah, I was like, mm. so yeah, yeah, Crystal, it's actually in, in the, in the medical journal. So uh, a lot of articles that are published and, and a lot of people didn't think nothing about it. They thought it was safe, but they've got all these people now that are getting older. Look at grandma's with full right whatever and uh yeah and they they're like they don't smoke they don't drink and it's because the tattoos and they're like wow yeah so that's very fascinating so that's crazy i did i, had no I know idea. right no clue. yeah yeah but nobody's done a study on it and but they went back and and i think they it took them i think 15 or 19 years i can't remember it's 19 or 15 years to figure this out so, yeah, I mean, it's an in-depth uh, study. So, yeah, I was very shocked about it. So, I was like, I have, to go, I have to go read that study. 
yeah, I was uh, very shocked. And uh, so, yeah, a lot of people sent me some messages on that uh, last night. And they're like, I had no idea. And they were like, uh, wow. And some people were like, well, you only live once. And I was like, well, I don't want to rush it. Damn, right. you know what I'm saying? I mean, that doesn't mean I'm going to stop getting tattoos, but it is good information. Crystal, man, it doesn't matter if if you are marked with tattoos or not. If somebody's hungry, they're going to eat you. So. Uh -huh. Uh, it's, it's another way to poison us, right? Uh, but, you know, they, they talked about these third world countries because uh, that got brought up about their tattooing, but their ink is natural. Yep. And the way they use it is they don't use needles. They use whatever uh, fish bones and animal bones and whatever else. It's interesting. So it, it dived pretty <laughs> interesting into it. So, yeah. Uh, but while I was doing all this research, I finally found the Roadrunner in real life. You ready oh, for this one? I yes. am so ready. Yes, I found this. I'm like, I can't believe somebody captured this. So in action here. <laughs> wow. One gone. more time. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. That poor cat really thought it was going to catch it. That Roadrunner was uh, like sandbagging, as we say in the drag race world. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah it, it was sandbagging. gone. Oh, yeah. I mean, that person actually had the, their phone at the right time, right? You know, to get exactly. that. I couldn't film that without laughing. There is no way. Oh, you know, the, uh, and that brings a whole new meaning. So the Hopi Nation, um, part of their um, protection stuff is Roadrunner feathers. So how fast are the Hopi? Yeah, right? That's crazy. So, yeah. Uh, a <laughs> little twist is like Roadrunner is my dad's favorite. They took them all off. They took all those cartoons off because they said they were too violent. You know, the sticks of the mic, the shotgun, and I like I, 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 I dare my boy. I you don't know. remember ever dropping an Acme safe on anybody. Yeah, right. I haven't, I haven't done it in forty plus years. I don't know. Uh, but you remember those Mako paint jobs for ninety nine dollars? We'll paint your whole car. Yeah, where they use the reused paint. Yes, ninety nine dollars. We'll paint your car. <laughs> yes. No, you. And won't. people did it. They did it. Was it. So, it was so horrible. I mean, oh, people I are like, that. people are like, what are you talking about? I got one better than that. I was like, damn, check this one out. This is a good one. And uh, action here. This week with my $29.95 paint job, I will give you $10 metal work absolutely free. This is for body and fender repair. Earl Scheib's exclusive estimator takes the guesswork out of auto body repair estimates and shows you how to figure the exact cost. To assure top quality workmanship, Earl Scheib's master craftsmen pay careful attention to every detail. Your car then is expertly painted with Earl Scheib's famous diamond gloss come alive colors. Huh. And the price for any car is still only $29.95. Your car is then tunnel baked in infrared ovens to give it that beautiful new car look. So drive in this week. Take advantage of this special offer from the man who says, I'm Earl Scheib. Yes, that's right. I will give you no metal work absolutely free when I paint your car for only $29.95. And now well, I'll... You're not touching my car. <laughs> I look good. For, I mean, it did look good. For 40 bucks. I guarantee. No. No, no. Hey, Liana, welcome to the show. And uh, Kyle Smith. I mean, you, is anybody else remember Mako? I, everybody went and, and, and got it done. And I if you are still around, too. If you are a liar, if you didn't, you are a liar. Some Everybody knew somebody. Where'd you get your car painted? Oh, I had a friend do it. Not bull. They went to Mako. They just didn't tell nobody. Um, uh, twenty nine ninety five. It's covered in watercolors that ran soon. <laughs> 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 it rains. <laughs> uh, Susan Ebb goes. Is that from nineteen sixty? I don't know, man. But man, ten dollars worth of body work. Golly, that was something. So I mean, yeah. Yeah, that moon at noon. That's right. Uh oh, better go get Mako. <laughs> that's remember? right. That's right. I'm looking at the Mako website right now. 
They're still well, are are they still in business? They're still in business, and there's one apparently in my town. Really? Yeah, I'm trying to look and see if there's a see if there's like a price guide. So uh, when I, I was surfing TikTok the other night with somebody in our chat, uh, and uh, or before somebody in the chat were and they, I'm not going to say if it's a he or she, and uh, this person, female, had her feet in front of the camera just wiggling them. Okay. And I was like, what, what's this about? And uh, I, I see people saying, check your cash out. So it got me intrigued. And so I watched it. And uh, and I said, what's going on? Right. And she, she didn't respond. <laughs> and uh, so I was like, hey. And then you do a bunch of emojis, whatever, to get their attention. And this person had like 26,000 people in, in her TikTok. And uh, it was a foot fetish thing. And people were sending her money to look at her feet. Dude, I have feet and I have TikTok. I mean, I was just like, you, what? Yeah. I'm like, whatever, people. I'm always looking for that next. I'm dog. like, Kyle Smith, feet. like, Kyle Smith, like, hello. Yeah. <laughs> you going to get in line? <laughs> you're going to watch, you're going to watch my foot channel on, uh, TikTok. Oh my God. Um, we were just talking about this for the show. People will pay you money for anything. There was somebody eating a lot of Taco Bell with no shirt on. I was like, yeah. yeah, I was like, and people were like, I ain't gonna tell well, you. that falls into the feeder culture. Twisted. Twi I, I have no idea. I, I don't know. I mean, hey, twisted. I'll put it this way. That's ridiculous. If you are bored and you have nothing to do, and uh, go out there and TikTok, I mean, <laughs> you would be like, what the hell? I mean, we have people out there eating food off people. Yep. I'm talking, and, and they're getting paid. Yes. People are going nuts. Uh -huh. That's it's called the feeder culture. Look into well, that. That's a rabbit season. I, I'm. I don't. I don't judge feed. I. I have no idea. I was just like. I didn't know what was going on. I'm not, and you know, crack me up. It was a feet markable. Right. Susan. Yes. Look at your feet. And if you need gas money, I'm telling you the, the old tick tockle. <laughs> Do you need gas money? Oh, that, that is funny. That is funny. So, you know, and another thing that I don't understand. Uh Oh, uh Oh, uh, Bigfoot. Bigfoot just came in. Somebody's calling me and I lost my screen. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> All that's right. Okay. I know, for the love of God, I said more than that twisted. Now, every once in a while, I, I feel bad about somebody and I will chime in and I will help them mentally and bring them across the bridge. But anyways, I'll leave that for another show. Uh, but uh, people have no business being out there on social media. And, you know, I'm not saying I'm the brightest person in the world or what do you all say? The sharpest crown in the box. Or what do you what we call about French fries and a happy meal? What's that old saying? Oh, you're, you're a fry short of a happy meal. Happy meal right. OK. But right. when I saw this, I, I wasn't going to play this. But I'm like, girl, you did this to yourself. We're going to make anyways. Y'all just. Uh, yeah. And action. I, I just, I just couldn't believe this one. Action. So hot to go to the sun. Then why don't we go at night when the sun turns off? Yeah, she said that one now more that time. Too hot to go to the sun. Then why don't we go at night when the sun turns off? I bet that's at a college, too, probably. I like that guy in the back. I, I was like, uh, I, I was mooning him. <laughs> Damn it, man, serious. Oh. Yeah, we'll just go to the sun when it's at nighttime. I mean, there's a dark side of the moon. And there's got to be a dark side of the sun. I was, I was like, oh, my God. Please, oh. Mom and Dad, if you saw that video, please educate her. Oh. Uh, they're all laughing. Uh, yeah, it is the upcoming generation, right? 
And uh, Brian Barber says, valid point. Brian, shame on you. Just saying. (laughs) Valid point. Oh, Oh, I I do do want to say, Brian, I saw your message earlier. My grandmother is still alive and kicking, but uh, it's it's that slow downhill process. If I had to guess, I'd say like two weeks. But thank you for checking on my grandma. Yes, awesome. I saw my first alien last night, a mantis in a toupee. Uh, they almost projected as a hologram in my backyard. It was very dark. Are you being serious or are you punking me? Susan F. says, not surprised. Uh, just canceled that child's tuition loan. Uh, Biden uh, did. No, it's too late. No, it's already done. Yeah, Biden done canceled. <laughs> Don't get me started. Denise is like, wow. Yeah, I'm trying to keep my mouth shut, too. So... Thank you, Kyle. Yeah, not the sharpest tool in the shed. That that's another saying I was trying to think of. That's right. One who's got the remote. I don't. Yeah. Anyways. Oh, but, uh, oh no! Please don't put that out there because that girl will see it, and she will go on a quest for the remote for the sun. No, woo, woo, woo! woo. <laughs> I can't even talk. <laughs> woo, saying he's being serious. Oh, Damn. well, that's cool. Yeah, I would have. I would have, yeah, my mm. backyard would have been like uh, Vietnam. I can tell you that much. I would have moved immediately. So, but, you know, it just makes you wonder about people when you see stuff like that. What what goes through their mind? But, uh, but you know, people, when they get married, they are, they're weird. Well, not weird. Uh, but I feel sorry for this man. Uh I don't know who put the video up. I want to say their grandchildren. Uh, if you laugh at this, you're gonna you're gonna burn. But actually. well, my feet are already hot. Okay. <laughs> Sharon, are you all right? Oh. Get the dog. Hurry up! Get the dog. No, get the dog. Get the dog. <laughs> Are you all right? Oh. Get the dog, get the dog, hurry up, get the dog. And it's the voice, too, that just, I'm laughing. I'm laughing on the inside. She was more worried about the dog than him. He says, just get the dog, get the dog. Don't don't worry about me, just get the dog. It's because the dog was more expensive than he was. I'm just the kidding. rest the rest of the video they had to cut it because he got very angry. I guess I and would too if I fell down and hit my head. He said, screw you and a bunch of other stuff. He said, I'm going back inside. Brian, I think <laughs> so, you're right. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but uh yeah, it, it was it was literally uh <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not funny. At all, is, is it? And it's yeah. not, and look, they're laughing. So I can't help it. Oh, when people fall, it's funny. I just I don't like know to know who, who puts them on the, the TV or the the internet. So uh somebody's calling me for Carrollton. They just don't know we're live today, so that's funny. That's funny. uh but the next one is you know how kids are. Kids are such amazing creatures, aren't they? They are. They, they, you never know what they're going to say. The mom caught this one in action. And uh, here we go. Just looking at them, Mama. Okay, well, stay away from them. Hold on. Let me, let me uh, rewind this here. All right, here we go. Mama, look. I'm just looking at them, Mama. Okay, well, stay away from them. Mama, look. I'm a big boy. I ain't scared of nothing. Okay, well, okay. what's the hat that you're not about to play Mama, with? Mama. James, you don't know nothing about that cat. Don't mess with that cat. No cat, Mama. I know about cat. No, you don't. Yes, I do, Mama. Look, that's the cat. Okay, and you don't know. Fair. Okay, you know. James, don't touch that cat. All right, here we go. You don't know nothing about no cat. Why Look at them old, old mobile rims. 
Just, I don't even know. I told you you don't know nothing about animals. You barking at a cat. So I really thought I, I really thought he was gonna get it to hold the cat. It was gonna tear the hell out of him. I was waiting on that, but no. But he knows cats, mama. Yeah, and he's that's that new. Him. That's the new. What was the old one? Linda, Linda, listen, Linda. <laughs> yeah, yep. yeah. That I really did. One. When I first watched that, I was like, "That cat's gonna tear him a new one." No, so. no, he knows cats. Don't worry. he's a big boy. Yes, right. Yeah, so it mm -hmm. uh, unbelievable, but you never know what the kids are going to say. So, no. hey, cryptid, never do. But like I said, if you ever get bored, you all have to. Man, you got to go out there and see. It, it's it's crazy what people do. It really is. I, I was right before the show. Brandon was asking me, he said, "What do you what are you watching?" I'm like, "I'm out here on TikTok." Yeah, he was. So. Like I was like, but you know what? Let's uh, talking about that 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 young boy. He 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 does my heart good because that means he'll get out there and he'll try new things probably. Mm hmm. Which is that's okay. But yeah, gets, wait wait till he gets that cat scratch fever. <laughs> ooh, that was a great song. Horrible side effects. Yeah, all right. People are like, is that real? Yes, that is real, ladies and gentlemen. That's crazy. So, yes, that is I'm, actually real. I'm still waiting on the sun to turn off. Oh, I just, it, it makes me wonder about people. It really does. I quit wondering. I'm like, I, I get it. It's in the water or something. So, uh, the next one, it, yeah, I, I, I no, no, you just okay. see it. Um, yeah. Yep. Let's check yeah. this out. I mean, I just have no idea about people. Let me rewind it. Oh, no. Oh, no. I know where this is going. I haven't even seen it. Oh. He bleached his hair using a Home Depot bag. Oh. That's free advertisement for old Home Depot. Look at the light. Come here. Get in the light. I mean, did you not think that was going to transfer? Obviously not. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. And that's not coming out. Well, now we have, before we had the Gorilla Glue lady, and now we have the Home Depot man. Now, actually, get in the light. I actually had a, a better one. I accidentally deleted it last night. Uh, the lady was in the emergency room. The That's the right. grandson was in the bathroom uh, spray foaming uh, the hose in the shower and left the spray foam on the counter, and the grandma thought it was moose. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> He got the pictures in the emergency room. It was oh, awful. No. Yeah, they had to they had to shave her head. There's nothing you can do. You had to shave her head. I mean, why would you go to the emergency room for that? So there's a lot uh, of questions. A little twist is like always needs a QR code. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kimmy Corks, welcome to the show. Kimmy Corks. Yeah, it was it, it. It was hilarious. I mean, it, it 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 was bad, and she had a lot of hair. And it's like, mm -mm. uh, did it, it must have been a generic spray foam because that stuff usually expands right away, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. And uh, evidently, this stuff didn't, and it was it was bad. And he had pictures in the emergency room, and she was not happy. Well, no. So yeah, he was not happy. That's but I, I I couldn't do grandma that way. Grandma was not happy at all. She was pretty bad. So I would uh, no. Yeah, uh -uh. she was she was pretty bad. I so think we, I we like, need to start a GoFundMe for her. Yeah. What now that was you know, why not? Because that's something different, right? Right. So that's crazy. Uh now this lady played uh yeah, yeah, anyways. I feel sorry for this husband. Here we go. Let's 
giving husband a show. I'm the one with the good time going up, ringing my doorbell. I feel the love, I feel the love. Uh, uh. One, two, three, one, two, three, three. One, two, three. three Too much. Three, three, three. Too much. Bring it back. Just, just turned into Tom Cruise. Oh, that was way too much. Oh. <laughs> Drugs are bad, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't stop watching. <laughs> what are we what is happening right now? Oh <laughs> Mm -mm. That, that poor guy, he was like, what the hell, honey? I mean, it started out great, and then and, and, and then the illicit substance kicked in, and you can see right at the moment it kicked in. I can see profits. <laughs> hey, ladies and gentlemen, if I catch you, out there on TikTok, you're coming on my show. We're gonna That's we're right. gonna put you on the show. There's Poncho. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh one, Poor two, guy. three, one, two, three. <laughs> Too much. Too much. That poor guy was like, what the hell is going on? But he kept it together. I mean, he knows. Oh. Uh, the, that backwards <laughs> crab walk was amazing. I don't think he saw the phone. I don't think he had no idea. Because he was like. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what we just watched. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I need to get. Do y'all remember the scene in the crying game? <laughs> I'm going to need to go do that after watching. Watching. Uh, I'd like to know what was going through his mind too, Twisted. Yeah. Uh, you know, when he saw it on TikTok, you know he got mad. I mean, he got mad. So look at Liana. I can see her doing that at home right now. <laughs> Get the practice in, Liana. One, two, three. One, two, one, three. Two, three. Kick. <laughs> Oh, I tell you, I tell you, I, I just, you know, I mean, you see people out there doing stuff like this and you can't help. You're like, man, it's just like, you know, and then I, I told him last night, Brandon, uh, I was scrolling through TikTok and I yep. saw a pole a, a stripper pole, in the bedroom. I've never yeah. seen one of those in real life. And, um, and I was like, why is there a pole in this bedroom? Uh huh. And uh, and then Grandma came in. I was like, "Oh, this is gonna get good. She's gonna bust out her granddaughter." No, she got on it. I was like, "Shut the front door." <laughs> I guess Grandma already paid for her college. I don't know. I did. People were sitting there money, and I was like, "Oh my God!" There goes somebody's retirement. <laughs> oh. I oh, was like, good God, man. Yeah. This is, it, you just, I was like, people's grandparents. I, I was like, man, I would be mad if that was mine, right? Well, yeah. So, uh, but the next one, uh, the guy ruins uh, an expensive piece of equipment. So. Let's see. Yeah, it's. Let's, let's check this out. It's so bad they had to stop the video and, and splice it. So let me rewind it, blow it up, and action. Well, that didn't quite work. Uh, I thought it was going to stop. 
Three more weeks later. <laughs> oh, bye-bye. I don't think that was rated for that kind of impact. It wasn't. <laughs> oh. Uh, I thought it was going to die. You got to die. Three more weeks later. <laughs> hey, he's just like, what? <laughs> oh, no. You should have heard what they said after they the original video. I mean, the guy that owned that, he was bad. Because they thought he was going to land on it and he was going to go out with it, not go through it. Those things well, are expensive. They're like three or four hundred dollars. Can we? Uh, yeah, he went through it. He went right through it. Yeah. Can we not have a quick physics lesson with with those people? <laughs> oh, he broke a hole in it. He go. The guy was like, "Oh, he was so mad." I wouldn't be. He was so mad. Well, really, if you're set standing by and you're letting that happen and you don't see what's about to happen, you can't get mad. It's your own damn fault. So it, yeah. It, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, it's oh my gosh, yeah, it's it's something. Uh, I I just there is no sense. I I have no idea. My phone's vibrating. Now, is that me or you, dude? That's me. My <laughs> phone has been going off this entire time. Oh my God, are we in trouble? I don't know. I've never had my phone or your phone go off so much during a live. Uh, usually people are messaging me. I'm afraid to look. So, I don't, yeah, I don't even want to. But hopefully, this show has helped your week, ladies and gentlemen. Put a little smile on your face. Yes, absolutely. Uh, uh, Poncho, we had, I had one video I accidentally deleted. Well played, the, guy, the guy was running on the pontoon boat that was his size. And he went to jump off the front of the pontoon boat and he broke the front of the pontoon boat and his feet got stuck in it. it you know, it was too much language. I, I couldn't beep it all out. So Tracy says it isn't me. So, but yes, uh, it is. I mean, you guys, you got to have some fun, right? But yes. Yes, you do. Laughter, but, you know. laughter heals more than just the body, it heals the soul. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So, and don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, we got a show coming up tonight at nine o'clock PM Eastern time. Uh, yeah. Tune in, uh, make sure and come early. So we get your name on there. And also if we didn't get you on the last show, look, uh, remind me and I'll put you up front, get you taken care of. So, uh, I don't want to keep skipping people. Uh, we're going to try some new things tonight. So, yeah. And if you're all watching on YouTube, don't forget the old super chats and the stickers that will yeah. will help the Grizzly Bigfoot nation of podcasts. Absolutely. Absolutely, ladies and gentlemen. So, from coast to coast, around the world, way. we'll see yeah. you tonight. Thank you. All right, bye. -bye.